Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, since I have time until the season is going to end in PvP, I think I'm going to move the PvP video that I told you guys I was going to do till tomorrow. Uh, it'll be with inside the last 24 hours, I think, that I'll just go ahead and push. Um, yeah, my egg is still got like 14 hours left on it. So it'll be ready, and I think my ranker is busy ranking up the monster yeah that i also want to use on defense so i think it'll be better off to do that video tomorrow so i figured today i would show you guys uh what i did during the 30 percent discount all right so i started off by moving the witch cat um i knew that i wanted to get witch cat and dreamer unlocked during the 30 percent discount uh and i wasn't exactly sure how many coins it costed because people had gave me different uh numbers and then i figured that maybe there were spins on the path that's also i was expecting it to be a hundred cells um i wasn't expecting it to be like handfuls of cells up to 150 that was uh made it really easy for people who didn't even have very many maze coins to be able to get both monsters uh, Yidra, you normally always have to move the first monster pretty much almost all the way down their whole path before you get the key to open up the next monster. So I think I will be going back uh, on the 20% discount and finishing off Yidra. But I had definitely had already planned that if I made enough cells, I was going to get the Nemesis monster even if like the Witch Cat didn't come. Well, the Witch Cat come and the Witch Cat was cheaper than I expected. So I was going to be able to get more than just Witch Cat and Dreamer. Uh, and I'm thinking when the 20% comes, I'll be able to get uh, the Nemesis monster and Yidra both. Uh, I did not get the 15 candy or 25 candy, whatever it was that was on the LTP the limited time path for uh, Dreamer, but there was plenty of candy in the main maze on the path, plus there was like a gold relic. Uh, so, I mean, I guess it's debatable like which rewards are really better considering that you got to pay like so many extra coins for the main path. But to my understanding, they usually always leave you enough to where you can get the limited path plus get an extra 100 cells to the monster on the main path all in, all in one maze if you really wanted to and you collect it. But like myself, I normally take the maze off after I get the limited path. I didn't spend any gems on spins. I felt like I had more than enough coins to get the things that I really wanted during the maze. So there was no sense to spend the to spend extra to spend the coins. But I did get lucky quite a bit. I think we got like 150 coins from the spins. But I was able to rack up lots of mini rewards that I didn't really keep track of. But yeah, this basically just goes to show that... Um, when the next two-day maze comes around, I'm going to be fire at it, meaning I, I now know how to collect maze coins without losing maze coins. Had I known that before, I would have ended Witch Cat Maze with an extra 100 coins instead of coming up 17 short. So this right here basically sealed the deal for the last time that SP should be able to have got one over on me, meaning the next time a two-day maze comes, I'm going to have the monster no matter what, so I, I won't be the one having to wait for some special hidden path like we were this time. I can't even tell you guys how many times people hit me up and be like where's that limited time path you said was coming what's going on where's witch cat i need witch cat the books are going to be over where's witch cat like trust me i i didn't know anything more than what i had read in a leak which was that witch cat was coming during the maze so all i was able to do was share that information and prepare uh it really got to be a pain in the butt though the fact that the books are going to end before you can even have time to craft and hatch the monsters so i felt that you're going to have to make a decision on whether or not you want to use gems to do that. Uh, maybe the first book, the one that ends fastest, you're not that worried about. But the one that's got the pump seed staff on it, I think, is a pretty nice book to not really want to miss. Um, I had to go back and double check exactly how many cells I needed uh, before grabbing that last 25. Because I know that they leave more than 100 cells on the main path. I just wanted to make sure that I got just 100. Uh, I'm not interested in getting Stardust from a maze when you can make 540 Stardust a day from just doing the gauntlet in the regular stardust dungeon so then i went to moving the um nemesis monster which was not very hard i only need two more steps and i should be able to get that during the 20 percent since i still have 800 more to get from maze coins and then i did spend 100 gems down the toolet to go ahead and rush the eggs to get them ready for books so now currently i have two days and 20 hours left on both eggs and we only have one day and 15 hours left on the first book, but only 
Dreamer is in the first book. Dreamer's not in the second book. So it still gets awkward, but I still have to rush Witch Cat and Dreamer both for this book. Um, but thankfully, I only have to rush them, I think, uh, let's see, if it's a day in 15 hours and they end in two days, uh, we're looking at, you know, nine hours each. I'm looking at another 20 gems I've got to spend uh, to be able to get that book, uh, which doesn't bother me really. Um, I do need vault keys, and they normally cost gold or cost gems anyway, uh, and then the chests. Uh, so, I mean, they're not really a big deal, but I'm just looking at it as it's going to kill multiple birds with one stone. Rushing them is also going to have them ready for this book. I'll have the Witch Cat ready. And then for my Cosmic Era book, I will be able to rank Dreamer. Uh, currently, I'm ranking the Targon, as I showed you guys earlier. And then I think I only have one other one to rank besides Dreamer, which I can do as soon as Targon is done. Uh, we are over here. Yeah, I got them all for rank one already done. It's rank two. Yes, Spawny. So as soon as Targon comes out of the Ranker, I will put Spawny in there, and by the time Dreamer is ready, Spawny will be done, and then I can get Dreamer ranked to 1. So I should be able to unlock and then rank 1 Dreamer before race starts, and then I will rank 2 Dreamer after race is over and finish out my uh, books that way. Now, I've seen a leak that says that the Cosmic Error season is coming to an end, uh, and people are losing their mind about that. Uh, I am not. I'm a little more calm and collected. I'm not a developer for the game, so it's outside of my control. I'm just here to go with the flow, meaning I didn't know what Legends were when I first started playing, and I'm not going to know what the future stuff is. I just I played the game to play the game, so I'm going to play with whatever's available, and I'm going to unlock things that are in my potential to unlock as they come. With that being said, though, I am an extreme fan of the Gauntlet. You guys see that I post Gauntlet streams all the time. Uh, I'm not really worried that the Gauntlet's going anywhere because of them releasing new monsters. And now, the reason why I don't necessarily worry is because when I come here and it says Resource Dungeon, Mythic Dungeons, Her Herodric Dungeons, I don't understand why it's complicated that they can't just add a fourth column there. You know, meaning, I don't know, like, if they're going to call the next monster era Uber Monsters, like... How do I know there won't be resource dungeons, mythic dungeons, heroic dungeons, and uber dungeons? You know, like, I don't. Like, they could put a scroll column here, and three years from now, there could be ten things in here you got to scroll through. I have no idea what they're capable of. But I do know that this mythic amber dungeon did not go anywhere when the cosmic showed up. Meaning you still had the ability to collect your mythic amber. So I still think that you're going to have the ability to collect your stardust from your stardust dungeon. And I do think you're going to have the ability to do the infinite gauntlet. I just don't think you'll be able to use the newest monsters in it. Meaning when the new era comes, you're not going to be able to use new monsters inside the gauntlet. The gauntlet is going to be what you see is what you get, cosmics only. Uh, and then maybe some of the cosmics that are behind paywalls that you don't have, like when it comes to my say, think of like a solar flare or something. Maybe in the future a solar flare will become available, and then you can get new uh, monsters for your gauntlet that you didn't have before. But what I'm thinking is when the new sets of monsters come, it's not going to affect this dungeon at all. This dungeon is still going to stay here, and they'll probably come out with some sort of new hard-to-do dungeon that only takes the newest monsters. Now, that's not what concerns me. What concerns me is how long is Social Point going to leave this PvP being garbage? That's what I want to know. There is absolutely no incentive to drive players here to play. Like, there's incentive to drive players to play the Gauntlet. All it would take is to change up the rewards, meaning I get it that they gave out too many easy rewards, meaning uh, when you look at the leagues now, Everyone who finishes in Legend 1 is getting a free 10, okay? A free 10. It is not hard to finish in Legend 1. You can just basically build a gauntlet team and sit your gauntlet team on defense, and then when you want to get some eggs, use your gauntlet team to attack and then put it back on defense when you're done, and you can get top 1k. So unless you're getting first place, there's absolutely no reason to invest in pvp now what i see here is a gap first place gets a super mutant rune and then top 1k gets a 10. all they got to do in my opinion to fix what's wrong with pvp is put one more category in there for top 100 and make them get a mutant rune meaning maybe they just get a mutant rune a thousand orbs and 
10 gold chests. Okay, if you did that, if you made that change, it would be like people in the past finding out there's gold in California. Everyone would swarm here and be like, oh man, I got to get top 100. And now you would have a thousand people who are used to getting a free 10 competing to get top 100 and get a mutant and PvP would come back to life. Then people would have to start asking their buddy, hey, what's good? What's a good monster to use in PvP? Hey, what team works and what, what stops this from happening? And how do I stop that? And how do I do this? And PvP comes back to life. But as is, it's dead. It's, it's dying worse and worse as it gets, but to me, it's already dead. As soon as they nerf those rewards and made it so easy, and when I say nerf, I mean nerf as in like a nerf football. Soft, made it easy, made it like not hard. That's what nerf is to me. You made something not hard, okay? So to me, as soon as they nerfed PvP and made it easy for everyone to get a 10, that was, the, that was like the end of PvP. So for all those people out there who since then have been bragging about how well they do in PvP, I don't really think you're doing anything, man. Players that are better than me, I'm sure, aren't even playing. Meaning I have no drive to do PvP, and I consider myself one of the best free-to-plays in the game. Which means if I don't have the drive to do it, I'm sure tons and tons and tons of spenders don't have the drive to do it. Meaning some of them probably forget the season's even ending and then they're like, oh my god... I'm one of those people who didn't get the free level 10. And you're like, how did you not get the free level 10 from Legend 1? And you're like, oh, I totally forgot this season was ending. I hadn't done PvP in two days. Like, <laughs> that's what PvP is right now, man. And I do think they can breathe life back into it. So I'm hoping with the new era that comes out that the developers are going to put some focus into PvP. But anyway, now the era duels is coming in 15 hours uh my only questions about this are what legends are going to be allowed because <laughs> the cosmics suck man like i'm liking vampira i'm liking the ability of being able to put strength on her use her as an attacker i'm liking the idea that there's not very like there's no anticipate so she can go ham uh i like the idea that the tanks are pretty much earth so uh, they're weak against dark i mean I do like that. I'm just curious about uh, the legends, man. Like, uh, is Corruptus going to be in there since he had a challenge? If he is, I got a rank 2 one. It doesn't matter about his rank, but it still lets me know that I have one, and he's an option. If he's an option, then he's got area dodge, which means maybe a tank is a decent option since you got area dodge monsters. Like, and people like Vampyra can't remove traits. So, I mean, like, there's a lot... That's crossing my mind about air duels, but there's no sense in investing brain energy into brainstorming if I don't know what's allowed in there yet. Like, that changes everything. So as soon as I'm allowed to see what legends and what monsters are allowed, then I can make a video and tell you guys my brainstorming plan and what I plan to use. Um, as I told you before, I do plan to spend gems. I got no problem spending the gems. I mean, I'm gonna about to spend gems on a race monster that absolutely has nothing that excites me at all. The same way Iguanazar had absolutely nothing that excited me at all. And I still spent gems on that. So I'm going to spend gems on the Air Duel. And my goal is just to make it on the list. Uh, if I can get one of them cool avatars, that would be sweet. Maybe I'll change my egg. I used to keep the egg there because, uh, to me, I hadn't been playing a year and it gave that signifying look that I was a noob. Well, come to find out, I've been playing longer than a year now. And it still lets me keep the egg. It doesn't engrave a one in it. You don't get another egg till three years. So I, I'm not really feeling the egg anymore. Like, uh, I've been playing longer than a year. I think that a year was long enough to wear the egg. So I am on the scout for a profile. Uh, so maybe the error duels will give me one. I'm not sure. Uh, I do plan to be ranking that Viperu, however you say his name, for the gauntlet. So if that's what the... Um, what the profile is maybe i will get that i don't know but anyway stay tuned tomorrow for me to do the pvp video i just wanted to show you guys that uh since i've basically been keeping you up with uh the witch cat maze i wanted to show you uh my performance in the witch cat maze uh, and then i will be watching 800 more uh cells worth or coins worth of ads from the monster woods and that will complete my nemesis monster that i need uh, i'm only two moves away from it and those two moves won't cost more than 400 each so that finishes me off on the 20 percent discount for that and then yidra only needs i think four moves yeah one two three four so looking at 800 to a thousand to move yidra during the 20 percent so yeah it's less than 2k i think with the day what is it? there's a day and a half is 
1600 and then 800 is like I should be able to get 2400 more coins and I only need 2k or less so I should be able to end up with getting four monsters from this maze just because I was active and it was a maze that I was originally planning to take off uh, so yeah I will be streaming the gauntlet tomorrow and every day until it's either gone or if it stays forever then maybe it'll become an everyday thing that I do uh, and I can continue to work on upgrades for it. I would assume the new era is not going to use Stardust, but I would assume it's just going to be like how Mythics were. Like, they still have a, you have Amber for Mythics and Stardust for Cosmics, and then you'll have some other, some other cell type for the newest stuff. And then they're going to tell us that the Cosmic era is coming to an end, and yet this is still coming soon. So I don't know if is it supposed to be the Dark era. Is it just going to? That's, that's my other guess, guys, is I truly think that all another error means is if you look here in the background at my PvP monsters, um, I'm going to go ahead and hatch hatch these eggs, which 30 Prince Charmless, I remember when he was really good, I used to hate dying to him. Uh, but anyway, if you look at the feet underneath uh, the monsters, how they have those, uh, I don't know, holograms, whatever you would call them, glyphs that represent that they're from the Cosmic Era or represent that they're a Halloween monster, I'm assuming to me, I think that another error is just going to mean that they have a different color thing under their feet, like how we have Nemesis and we have Elite. I find it hard to believe that SP is going to go through another stat gap, like how there's a stat gap between Legends and Mythics, and then there's a stat gap between Mythics and Cosmics. I find it really hard that they're going to stat gap again from Cosmics to another error. If they do, that's totally fine. Like, I'm totally down with upgrades and I'm totally down with moving on to new content. Just like I'm down with getting, you know, a phone upgrade and not playing with the same phone for 15 years when it's slower than the newest phone and it, it doesn't process like the newest phones. Like, monsters are no different, man. As the stats go up, so does everything else. Meaning, if you want to continue to play with old stuff and, and continue to resist change, you're the person that grows up to be a grumpy old man like you got to be able to ride the wave and go with the flow or you're just going to sink and drown so no matter what they bring I, i'm not worried about it i don't look at it as a loss i look at it as i had fun while the cosmics were here and we're moving on uh the things that are concrete in the game that i haven't seen change since i've been playing in a whole entire year is runes runes have been the same so i'm kind of surprised they haven't changed that uh, gold per minute has been the same. Sure, the new monsters add more gold per minute, but it doesn't change the fact that gold per minute is still the foundation resource of how you grow your account along with gems. All that stuff's still the same. So I have no idea, like, that stuff could even get changed. Dude. Like, in my experience of playing games for as long as I've played games, guys, I've come to realize that just like in real life, how you're not God, you're not the developer of the game that you play. Meaning you... When you think you have control over updates is when you're going to get tears. That's when you're going to be the kid crying on Discord, trying to get someone who works for the game to listen to your tears because it's not fair how they've changed the game. you got to learn to adapt. The faster and the better you get at learning to adapt, the better you'll be in a position to take over when the new stuff gets here. Like, as you can see from my account, how was I able to grow so fast? It's because I wasn't locked into anything. When changes happen like the Cosmics, I, I was ready to go with them. I wasn't the one crying saying, oh man, my worm lad's no good anymore. Like, no, I was ready to move on. Like, just like I'm ready to move on now if they're bringing a new error. I can't, my curiosity really flows on on what's going to be in these book rewards, man. I was, that's the biggest thing that blew my mind from the whole Cosmic error was these these book page rewards were the biggest mind blower to me not the stats of the monsters these these book rewards these book rewards blew my mind why because i always knew i was going to get the new monsters i play all you gotta do is play and you're going to unlock the new stuff i always knew i would get things to upgrade the new stuff because i play but what i wasn't expecting was when it takes me four months to make my first level 10 to be able to rank a page and get six of them six nine through ten chests in, in one ranking of a page mind-blowing so anyway before i ramble on too much longer i just wanted to catch you guys up with what i'm doing and let you know to keep a lookout for tomorrow's video uh and then those of you who know i can now stream on youtube i'm just a complete noob at it i don't know how to do much with it yet uh but i don't have to use that dumb arcade omelet app anymore uh, 
And then the other thing is I can community post, which I did share some pictures uh, during the cat maze. Uh, in the future, I'm sure we will find a way to use the community post even better. I can do some polls and stuff. But anyway, yeah, thanks to everyone who's been watching my channel, and I'll see you tomorrow. Later.